Hey guys, thanks for coming. Um, I liked our uh, energy more than anything else. Uh, I liked our preparation for the game. Very impressive. Uh, uh, even more so, I think, than the game with the preparation and the organization. Very pleased with it. Uh, that goes from uh, a week of practice to best rides in football. Our Thursday, no balls on the ground, no callbacks, and then uh, uh, obviously best ride in football and then today in the hotel. So I'm very pleased. And now it's time to get going a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's good to see some of those young receivers make some plays. Uh, well, that all answers some questions. How is Carl Johnson? Carl Johnson, they're, oh, we're, we're holding it to Bruce. They're uh, uh, all Bruce, and, and they're saying right now he's probably for uh, next week. Mike, are you going to love Mike? So that's Riley Cooper's performance. So yeah, Riley played like he's uh, practiced <laughs> in, in uh, I think he had over 100 yards receiving, and, and he, he's, he had extra practice, and he played like that. So he's, he's, he's playing as good as he's ever played. You know, I know it's just one game, uh, but the way he's been practicing, you can tell he's going to come out in the game, breakout game. Harvey, you gave up a lot of yards. Is that a case of just playing a lot of people? or we kind of Yeah, have we just we play better. one defense, basically, or two defenses, and, and uh, uh, got a little more, you know, spikes, and the boys got out of there fairly quickly. Ben? Uh, you give up a lot of yards? We go all 369. Some of the uh, early things, uh, the first kickoff going out of bounds, uh, the missed extra point, Deontay Thompson driving that long bump. Uh, is that just opening night jitters, or how do you feel about the team's execution coming You're out? You're going to find a bad stuff, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, Deontay, and, and a little upset about that one. For us to win, I mean, we made it clear that position has been manned by some very good players the last four years. Uh, and the style of offense we play, if that guy gets covered and can't make a play, we're not going to, at some point, we'll fail. So very, that was one of the most disappointing because he can make that. He makes that play. He ran right by the guy. He's got a lot of speed. He's a great young man, but he has to make that play. Uh, the kick out of bounds, no excuse for that. And then we had a couple of delay games that they told me something was wrong with the game clock or the, the, the shot clock. And, but regardless, it felt like there's a little discombobulation early in the game. But after that, it goes fine. We tried the up tempo quite a bit, and I think you're going to see more and more of that. Kevin over here, and then Joe. Talk about the running game, and particularly with uh, Jeff Demps kind of setting the tone early in the touchdown. And then same with Chris Rainey. You know, these guys are fast, and Chris had one carry. I think he's averaging 76 yards a carry or something like that. <laughs> he's fast, and, uh, you know, you, these kind of games are hard because you have to make that educated catch when you get him out of the game. And I found out Chris only had one, one carry and almost put him back in, but that would have just ripped our hearts out of uh, something would happen to him. So uh, the young Gillespie played hard, and Moody ran real hard. Uh, we have three tailbacks right now. And, uh, almost uh, equal uh, as far as opportunities, so they'll, they'll, we're just going to get a couple more. Joe? Uh, why didn't Jermaine Cunningham start? Jermaine Cunningham? Oh, uh, he wasn't ready to play, in our opinion. He wasn't ready to play. <laughs> okay. Friends? And what is the... Uh, I'm sorry, John, Joe. Could you explain the safety situation? This game, playing Will and Strong and Sound Man three. You know, we play with whoever you think playing safety. What do you mean explain the safety situation? Well, you started at, you started Will, found a strong safety and a free safety. Uh, we question. started Tebow at quarterback, too. I mean, we, I'm not sure the question. The question is explain. Will Hill played safety because he's ready to play safety, and uh, who was a major right was playing the other safety. I'm not sure the question. Yeah, the question was just explain. Can you explain the safety situation? Right. We're playing whoever's ready. We told you that earlier. Okay. Right. Fred? Just talk about playing your offensive line out there. You had cohesion problems because a lot of guys nicked up and everything like that. And this was really a okay. good chance to really play. <laughs> yeah, I thought the, I think we, I'm not even sure who Steve started. I think he started James Wilson. But uh, uh, we have three guys that are going to rotate for that, uh, those two spots. And then we're going to see how it goes. Colonel Johnson obviously get out of the game. Um, forces to play Patchen and James Wilson. So I think they played very well. Obviously, it's hard to evaluate that. We're, you know, obviously overmatched a little bit. We're going to find out as we get down the road here. But I thought those guys played through. I like their preparation. Really good. Mark and Mike. Along those lines, overmatch. Did you get everything you could out of this game, you think? I don't know. Uh, you have mixed emotions about it. I mean, we want to we want to uh, go in the game and we want to uh, get some two minutes done. We get no huddle done, and then find out who the young players were that we could count on. And, uh, it was uh, we had some young offensive linemen step in there. Uh, Xavier Nixon, 
Alijajian and uh, John Halapio. So I mean, we're dealing with a death here finally. What about from the starters? I think we did. I'll tell you more on Sunday or tomorrow, tomorrow Monday when I watch the film. That's hard to evaluate that day. Buddy, Reverend, given what happened to Oklahoma tonight, and uh, oh, yeah, beat oh, and Sam Bradford's hurt, maybe out four to six weeks. Uh, and given that you had a kind of an embarrassment of riches tonight, including your freshman line and your sophomore quarterback going down the field scoring, how fortunate do you feel? How pleased do you have a night win in view of what could have been to you? Well, I want to, you know, I never want to take any for granted. I'm going to say this on the radio show as well that, uh, you know, for the first time, it's already, it's just, you, know, you kind of start taking it's our fifth year now, and we start to take things for granted, like the stadium, the fans, the people, and the atmosphere, I mean, you're out there and the game's way out of hand and the fans are still cheering the defense. That, that's priceless as far as getting guys in the game. And I've coached to places before where you just, you, you never get a chance to get a young player in the game until it's fourth and two when the game's on the line and that's not sure of that young player. So that the positive is uh, that you got a lot of young, like you said, there's a lot of young players that now have game reps in front of a big crowd under the lights. The negative is, you know, we were really challenged. We all know the negative down the road on that if you don't get challenged here pretty quick. Back at a lap, Coach. What did you say to Brandon after he returned the kickoff for a score? I love Brandon. I'm so proud of that guy. Uh, he's obviously had a tough road when he first got here, made a couple bad decisions, but now he's a captain. He's going to be a graduate of the University of Florida, and uh, he'll have a chance to go to the NFL. And he, he works awful hard at his job, and he inspires the guys blocking for him. So I think that's his first one that counts. He had three or four called back, so it was great to see him. Everybody has the reaction to go look for flags. <laughs> Those guys block the girls well for him. Question up front here, the Mike Rocker and Bianchi. Coach, um, I know you can only answer for yourself this, but going back to two years ago when Appalachian State beat Michigan, how much in your mind did you know, preparation was important for even a team like Charleston Southern to not slip up? I mean, it was a perfect the first half. Well, at Appalachian State, uh, they were a, a, a national champion. I mean, everybody knows how good they are. This team, uh, you weren't quite sure. You know, uh, I have a lot of respect for it. I know that coach very well. Uh, or what I follow the coach. Uh, defensively, our biggest concern was blocking them. Just the multitude of blitzes and you know, getting a guy dinged because someone comes free. I mean, they, they blitzed our tails off and we picked it up pretty good. So you, you always have that in the back of your mind, something bad happened with an upset. And, I mean, someone beat LSU or, uh, Alabama a couple of years ago too, a smaller school. So you just, you, you just once again, it wasn't, our whole focus wasn't who we were playing, it was just about game week preparation and playing the best you can. And if you didn't play the best you can, there's a chance you can get replaced. And so I saw guys fighting for the jobs tonight. That's what we